And now we'll show you how to use the deposit and deposit refund descriptions that we just created. In Family Data and Accounting, we'll go to a family to post a deposit received for, we'll say, a pre-registration fee. So when we click in the description box, we can just type part of the description, pre, and it'll bring up our, our two descriptions here, the deposit or the refund. I'm going to use the deposit charge. I'm going to receive um, $150 on this account as the deposit and then I'm going to receive a payment by check uh, for the same amount with a check number here and that's how you post the deposit. You'll chose, post the charge for 150 receive the check for 150 You'll notice down here our deposits button now shows 150 on account. Just post and exit. So whenever we come back to that ledger, we'll see that in the deposits uh, button. When we click that, we'll see that we've received pre-registration deposit of 150. We have no pre-registration refund yet. And this is where those line items that we discussed in setting this up, uh, this is where they match up. Okay. So if we move over to another family that we've already received a deposit from, we got a deposit back in March from this family and received the payment. We'd like to use that up now for uh, tuition. So I'm going to go ahead and post a charge for tuition of the amount of the deposit in this case. And then I'm going to use the pre-registration uh, deposit refund. right there and that would post for the same amount so we've now credited back that hundred and ten dollars that we had on this account and notice that the deposits button goes to zero we've received a hundred and ten back in March and we've credited the hundred and ten uh, today and those are those records there and that's how to use the deposit and deposit refund descriptions